Hello everyone! Today I was called to do this reading. I just felt like I had to. This is going to be, will you both get back together? So yeah, this is going to be for those of you that are not with this person right now. And it's going to indicate essentially if you're going to have a reconciliation, if you're going to reconnect and get back together. So first thing I want to mention is if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information is going to be in the description box below, so do check that out if you're interested. Very simple to enter. If you would like to book a paid private reading, information will also be in the description box below. And if you would like to check out my bracelets which are on Etsy, a link will be down there as well. They start from just £3, free international shipping worldwide. They are intention bracelets made for lots of different areas of your life, so there's loads of them on there. They're handmade by me as well, so do check those out if you're interested. Let's get started with this reading. So let's see if you guys are going to get back together. Alright, I just had a feeling I had to do this reading, so <laughs> here we go. I have a really, you know... Ooh, a rejuvenation, a sense of healing as well. So for those of you that have perhaps not healed from the situation, it's good to do so because I feel like a lot of you are going to feel very rejuvenated. Star is ruled by Aquarius. It's about feeling positive and fresh. It's about releasing the past, releasing, you know, emotion. It's about really feeling yourself. There's nothing wrong with releasing your emotions and just letting it all out, you know, I really feel like it's a time to be free and happy, I do see that there's a sense of rejuvenation coming to you, and I, I see you feeling so much better, I feel, I feel a lot of you are going to be glowing and just genuinely feeling really good about your life and yourself, you're going to be at one with yourself, and you know, you see this beautiful big star, all the other stars are in the background, who cares about all of the other stars, um, there are so many stars, you know, there are so many people, Focus on yourself. It's going to make you feel really good and rejuvenated. Page of Cups is an opening and an offering. I feel like this is because of the work that a lot of you put into yourself. So definitely do a lot of healing, releasing, letting go, forgiving. And I do feel like there's an opportunity that this person will come back around. Page of Cups, it is water energy and it is genuinely about things having manifested in the past with this person, now they're back with that cup. There's a fish in that cup. Things have manifested between the two of you in the past and now there's a fish. Hello. So again, this is about them offering and coming back, still having feelings for you. I see, I see that this person still has feelings for you as well. So a lot of sort of a lot of it's going to be tied to the fact that there's a spiritual connection here, whether it's a twin flame or a soulmate connection. A lot of you need to do a lot of releasing and letting go that will allow this person to come back into your space. So it's connected. The energies are connected. Whew! Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you guys seeing this? Like Ace Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, Whew, an offer, right? I mean, I saw that offer with the Page of Cups. I mean, this is them, you know, knowing and acknowledging their feelings to you. But the Ace of Pentacles is stability, security, commitment. They are offering you commitment. They want to be with you. This is something long-term that I'm seeing as well. Whew, Queen of Wands, things moving forward. They take action on the situation, getting back together again. And guess what? I really do feel like you would be in the energy of the Queen of Wands. Um, you know, yes, they would take action and they would come back around, but I feel like a lot of this is because of the work that you've put into yourself. You feel really nourished. You feel good. Again, a rejuvenation in the situation. You can't take the past with you into the future. You can only take the lessons because that's, you know, um, otherwise it's going to be emotionally damaging for so many of you. So do make sure, you know, that, sorry, those are just my other tarot cards just peeking through. Um, anyways, so yeah, definitely make sure, you know, that you are able to let go and release and just feel at one with yourself. Focus on your hobbies, your goals, your dreams, things that make you feel good. This is going to be, you know, very, very important. So um, it's, it's going to make you feel good. It really, really is. And they're going to see you as the Queen of Wands energy, just completely at one with yourself, very passionate and just having a good time. Seven of Wands. You guys are going to be able to overcome obstacles. So they may not be the most stable person right now, 
that's also something I'm picking up on. But I do see that they're going to become much stronger. They're going to be able to overcome things and, you know, get get around to you. So that's what I'm seeing there, is that they're trying their very best to have some form of stability in their life. The Fool here, the start of something new. As I mentioned, rejuvenation. You don't want to take, you know, the past into the future. You want to just take the lessons you've learned and apply them to your future. But again, there is a new cycle opening up. There's something new that's going to occur here. So again, it's that you know, healing is very, very important because everything is sort of tied together. So the Fool does indicate a new cycle with this person, a new fresh start with this person and the ability to have something, something beautiful and something very, very new. Oh, sorry, that was really loud. The cards just flipped. Well, that one just flipped and it made a really loud, loud noise that even scared me. I'm really sorry if you're wearing headphones as well and you hear something really, really loud. The world card, again, a new cycle, yay, we love hearing this. It's also about, you know, you see how this woman is naked here and really at one with herself. Um, again, whether, you know, male or female, we read the energy, not the genders. So again, you can be a male and still have that energy as well. But I'm seeing, you know, again, you see this person here, very at one with themselves, feeling very balanced with the two ones in the two hands, having very healthy boundaries, feeling free not feeling burdened by the past or feeling hurt by the past. This is about feeling fresh and new and sitting in your power. Beautiful energy, magnetic energy, and in many ways this spiritually brings that person back as well. So focus on yourself, work on yourself. Four of Swords. Work on yourself, you know, resting, retreating, meditating can really help. Meditating is, is huge for those of you that aren't doing it right now. I highly recommend it. It can only take 5 to 10 minutes a day and it just helps to build up strength. Like it genuinely does help. And I, I can't stress enough about it. I, I just think that it can make you feel so much better within yourself and your day-to-day -day life. So resting, retreating, meditating, taking time for yourself, focusing on yourself, very, very important as well. But yes, I do see you, you know, coming back together again and getting back together. Nine of Wands, they do think about you. Very evident. They also think about you physically as well because they are physically attracted to you. Again, you know, it's something with the Queen of Wands as well, that physical attraction. Not just physically, but they're also emotionally and spiritually and mentally attracted to you as well. Ace of Cups, offering you love, offering you that sense of they want to be with you, communicating their feelings, their emotions with you, offering you that love, that full cup, a full cup of love. And again, feeling really free and happy in that sense with the world as well. I am so sorry, my laptop is overheating all of a sudden. My laptop is feeling physically very attracted to this reading, that's probably why. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, got here the Justice card. Justice is ruled by Libra. Libra is about karma. It's about things coming back around. So, you know, I do feel like, you know, whatever went around this situation, uh, essentially the situation is coming back. And it's coming back in a, in a good way. Because a lot of you, what you've done is you have cut out people, places and things that do not serve you with that sword on the one hand. And on the other hand, you've got the scales, you've created balance in your life, you have taken action to do that. And so now you're, you're reaping that reward, essentially. And also with justice, it means that someone from the past is also coming back in this spread, since the question is, will you guys get back together? So that's what I'm seeing. You've also got the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is abundance in all areas of your life, but you know specifically in, in this question, it also does represent that you guys are going to come together for the long term. Things are going to happen in terms of, you know, obviously everyone's version of the Ten of Pentacles. <coughs> My throat is giving up on me and I need water, so I'm just going to quickly grab that. But I know what I'm going to say with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm so sorry guys, I'm so so sorry. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. 
whatever your version of the Ten of Pentacles is, because not everybody desires marriage, right? So whatever your version of it is, if that's stability, security, happiness, children, again, not everybody wants children, right? So whatever your version of that is, that is what I feel you will attract in your life that version of Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, that's going to be marriage, children, commitment, stability, security, happiness, a good career. For others of you, whatever that you know, Ten of Pentacles is for you, it's going to vary for everybody. Then that's going to be essentially what I am seeing in this reading as well. So, will you guys get back together? Yes, I do see it here. Um, you know, I really, really do. And I feel like things are really going to, you know, they're going to come together with that Justice card and especially that Ace of Pentacles as well. There's Ten of Pentacles, there's Ace of Cups. But I feel like a lot of you have work to do on yourselves. You have healing to do and that's a big message, you know, to, to get started on that if you haven't already because it can make a world of a difference and it can really allow things to, to happen and to manifest. And do that healing because of yourself, not because you're trying to attract someone else. Remember to put all of the focus and energy onto yourself. So that is the reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much to those of you who have. Don't forget to check out the description box below for information on how to win the free reading because I'm doing the giveaway of course and then also how to book a private paid reading if any of you are interested in that and of course check out my bracelets on Etsy it would mean so much to me and um, again thank you so much to those of you who have purchased bracelets because I really hope you see a big result in your life with those bracelets um, I've put I've put a lot into them and I've tried to make them as affordable as possible um, so yeah I hope you all have a lovely day night wherever you are I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.